Hi friends, let us go through the concept of MT950 statement message. What are the content available for this PPT? Purpose of the message, scope of the message, demerit, one simple example flow, direct banking relationship and indirect banking relationship, message structure and simple example message. These are all the details I provide in this PPT. Kindly watch this video, stop to end and provide your comments. Why we generate for the MT950? Account owner need to understand what are the transactions done from this specific account. So that reason, accounting institution generate the MT950 statement to account owner. For the purpose of the account owner need to understand what are the transactions and the entries happen for the specific account. In this MT950 statement always should be generated from this financial institution to account owner. Based on the trans based on the statement message, account owner can able to understand balance of the account, what are the transactions done for the specific account, uh, what are the entries happen for the specific account. These are the details the account owner can able to uh, see the details from this MT950 statement message. Scope of the message. Already I said that this message should be generated from this accounting service institution to account owner. Okay. Based on this message, the account owner can able to see that what are the entries happen for their account. And uh, this MT950 statement message could be able to show that all kind of transaction, uh, whether it's a SIP transaction or any bill of exchange and credit card transaction and uh, uh, what are the transaction type is that security transaction. All the transaction you can able to see that MT950 statement and it should be only for the passing the information. Okay. You can able to see that only for the what are the transaction done for the specific account. Okay. Uh, what are the entries happen for the specific account? This message should be only pause the information. Okay. It's never do there any transactions. Okay. That you need to understand. Okay. Based on the statement only, the account owner can able to understand opening balance of the account. What are the credit and debit entries happen for the specific account? Closing balance of the account. All should be all all the details should be shown in MT950 statement. Okay. Generally, all are now that opening balance means previous account closing balance called for the current account opening balance. Okay. Uh, next, previous statement closing balance is called the current account opening statement as well as the current account opening statement is called the previous account closing balance. Same like that. What is the demerits of the MT950 statement? Uh, MT950 statement, few demerits is there. Okay. Uh, in this MT950 statement, you cannot able to see the date and time indication. Okay. When the transaction is happened, what time it's happened, you cannot able to see the date and time indication details is missed out. Another one, the ordering or intermediate institution details also missed out. Okay. You cannot able to see that ordering and intermediate institution details. Okay. Uh, so the reason mostly the any failure transaction happened from this one bank to another bank on the time bank to inform, uh, inform to receive uh, central bank to receive please generate for the MT19 statement because the MT19 statement could be uh, provide the elaborate information of the specific transaction. Okay, we can able to see the date and time indication and ordering and intermediate or institution. Uh, all the information you can able, you can able to see the very elaborate manner compared with MT950 statement. This only demerit is MT950 statement. Okay. Next transaction flow of MT950 statement. Two kind of transaction flow is there. Already I said that direct banking relationship as well as the indirect banking relationship. Direct banking relationship. We know government need to send 15k AUD to local textile institution. Uh, it's from the Dubai. Okay. In this scenario, uh, we know uh, uh, ordering. Uh, we know is the ordering customer. Okay. We know ordering institution SB India, they have a direct relationship with the Reserve Bank, Citibank, UAE. Uh, in this scenario, uh, MT950 should be generated from this Reserve Bank to uh, Central Bank to Reserve Bank. Okay. What, which account the credit and debit should be happen, opening balance and the closing balance, every, everything directly it come to that uh, ordering institution to receiver institution. Rahul can able to see that uh, all, all their specific transaction for the account. Okay. What is the what entries happen for the specific account? Opening balance, closing balance, and the credit or debit. Uh, what kind of action should be taken from this specific uh, specific account? All the details Rahul can able to see that. Okay. MT950 should be generated from this ordering institution to receiver bank because the both the bank have direct relationship. Next is the indirect relationship. Uh, same example. We know is a Indian Indian we know government is the Indian customer. Rahul uh, Textile is a Dubai based customer. Okay. In this scenario, ordering institution they don't have a direct relationship with the receiver bank. Okay. On the time, what will be happen? Ordering institution approach for the sender correspondent and receiver correspondent. After the amount should be transferred to the receiver bank. Again, the receiver um, receiver bank should be given to the account to the uh, final beneficiary. Okay. In this scenario, receiver correspondent bank and receiver bank. Okay. 
in this don't forget receiver correspondent bank and receiver bank is there receiver correspondent bank should be generated for the mt952 receiver bank okay this account should be debit or this account should be credit these are all the entry happen for the this week account and opening balance of the account closing balance of account and closing advance balance these are the details the uh, um, receiver bank able to uh, uh, receive receiver customer bank should be generated the mt950 to receive bank after receive bank should the statement to rahul okay uh, statement message in the statement message uh, uh, what are the transaction happen for the specific account what are the entries uh, all the transaction entries and opening balance closing balance closing advance balance all the details rahul can able to see that okay next what are the field details should be available for the mt950 uh, 20 is a transaction reference number, 25 is the accounting institution, 28 is the statement number and sequence number, 16A is the opening balance and 61 is the statement line, 63 is the closing balance, 64 is the closing available balance. Okay, These are the field details available. We could see that each and every field details in detailed manner. Already I said that transaction re reference number should be generated from this sender bank because each and every transaction we need to understand some reference number. So the reason the 16 digit transaction reference number should be generated from this sender bank. Account identification, you can able to see that uh, account number of the statement, okay, which account should be created, the, the, that it is, you can able to see that. Statement number and the sequence number, it should be automatically generated uh, from this uh, basic header block itself, okay. Opening balance means, what are the initial stage of your balance, okay. Uh, before what, what, what kind of balance available for the specific account that account uh, that details you can able to see that opening balance okay in this opening balance you can able to see the debit or credit mark and date and currency amount these are the details you can able to see that after you go to the statement line statement line should be contained for each and every transaction information okay what are the transaction happen for the specific account okay whether the SIP transaction happen or bill of exchange happen or or any kind of credit transactions happen or, or any security transaction happen or all the details you can able to see that statement line. Statement line should be contained for the many of the details, okay. Value date and entry date and debit and credit mark, funds code, amount and the transaction type, what kind, of, what kind of transaction should be happen, whether it's a SIP transaction or bill of exchange or security transaction, what kind of transaction should be happen. Reference for the account owner, reference for the accounting in service institution, all the details you can able to see the statement line okay statement line is the heart of mt950 because the with statement line only you can able to see the all the details of the uh, mt950 what are the transactions should be happened for the specific account and all the account entries you can able to see the elaborate manner in statement line closing balance means once the debit or credit should be happen end of the account how much amount it should is it's be there okay that is called the closing balance closing balance also you can able to see the whether the debit credit happen for the specific account date and currency among these all the details you can able to see that closing available balance means on every and entire transaction should be processed okay after the uh, suppose they got from any interest and everything should be calculated end of the closing okay once entire transaction is uh, close completed after finally how much amount debit or credit to the specific customer how much account amount should be available in the specific account uh, okay finally how much amount should be available in the specific account that you can able to see that closing available balance field these are all the field details should be available next i could we could see that one sample example message okay uh, this is for the basic header block it start from one and it's a fin or gpa payment and what kind of message this is for zero one and uh, sender bigs and uh, uh, already said that system reference number sequence number this is for system reference number and sequence number next application block uh, basic header block application block you can able to see that whether it's a what kind of message should be generated the input output message date, date and time indication uh, and um, uh, beneficiary bank uh, uh, and uh, receiver bank uh, beneficiary code and uh, same like that uh, time date and time indication and uh, close the link bracket third bracket it's come to that what is that message type and uh, all, all the details should be available fourth block it's come to that uh, trial uh, fourth block is come to that uh, trailer block in this trailer block you can able to see that uh, each and every mandatory and optional field already sent the 20 is there transaction reference number 25 is that account number 28c is there uh, here 16 is a opening balance after you said that the statement line that is called the 61 c what are the statement should be available okay what are the credit and debit entry should be happen uh, which currency the entry should be happen how much amount should be debit or credit this information you can able to see the statement line okay once is everything is over after you can able to see the closing balance okay this is what the first transaction next transaction same like that transaction reference number after it's come to that what are the entries happen for the specific transaction again it's come to the closing balance 
सेम लाइक दर ओके हाउ मेनी ट्रांजेक्शन इज दर ईच एंड एवरी ट्रांजेक्शन यू कैन एबल टू सी द डिटेल्स इन स्टेटमेंट लाइन ओके फाइनली इट्स क्लोज इट्स कम टू द क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट ओके फाइनली इट्स कम टू द एंड ऑफ द ब्लॉक एंड इट शुड बी क्लोज फ्रॉम करली प्लेसिंग थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो काइंडली शेयर यूर कमेंट्स एंड वी विल डिस्कस सम इंटरेस्टिंग फिनेंशियल टॉपिक इन नेक्स्ट वीडियोज